Bangkok, you're back on the island having a futsal camp. Um, you've been abroad for a while now, so when you come back, what are some of the things you've seen differently, especially for these young kids that, that kind of inspires you to want to keep it going? Um, every time I come back, I'm very impressed by the skill level of our players. There's not much of a difference, believe it or not, between the skill level in what I see in England and what I see here. The only difference really is the intensity at which the players in England train. Now you have this young group here that is behind us and an older group. Um, obviously, you're, you're working with both groups, one developing, also one nurturing. Um, what is the difference between the ages that you have here and the older group that you're working with as well? Our group that comes in first thing in the morning, we, they are from our four up to seven-year-olds. And we wanted to separate them in the past. We had both groups combined, but we wanted to focus more on the technical skills and the fun level for the younger ones. So we separated the older boys are 10 to 15 year olds so that we can really push them with a more intensive training and we didn't want to leave the younger ones behind because these are the foundation years, these are the important years when you get those technical skills kind of ingrained in their style of play. Now you go back and what is the first order of business for you back in England? Um, to get readjusted to the weather to be honest. Um, Bermuda spoiled me this week, we've had a lot of sunshine and I'll be going back to snow and ice unfortunately but um, straight back to work uh, at the clubs that I'm working with, the programs that I'm working with, both futsal and football. Working between the two now, you, you would consider yourself a futsal kind of person that, that has worked your home skills and all, but you have that football background as well. How do you translate the two when it comes to, because I know a lot of people utilize the futsal method in football itself, So, but how are you working with making sure that you are able to work the two in the training method and then implement it in games? Sure, well, a, a lot of what you do in futsal definitely translates into football. Um, we do a lot of short-sided, small-sided drills, uh, 4v1, 6v2 in a small area. The only difference really being that on a futsal court, the surface being wood is so much faster. So when, that take, when you take that outside, playing fast translates from inside to outside. When we get out onto the grass, we find that our players uh, move more to adjust from the speed that they've been playing inside. All right, well, we look forward to you coming back and passing on the knowledge that you've actually work with in the UK and then bring it back to our boys and girls here in Bermuda. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. I'll be back in April, so I'm looking forward to seeing everybody again and we'll have details of our clinics available and out to the public soon. Audio Jungle.